We start tonight with and then there were none. Ohio just wrapped up tonight its final Vaximillion lottery drawing. The final winners were announced just hours ago. Esperanza Diaz from Cincinnati won the million dollars and Sydney Dom from Brexville near Cleveland is the winner of the four year scholarship. There she is. For the last five Wednesdays, 10 Ohioans have won the money and the full ride scholarships. Two of those winners were from right here in Northwest Ohio. Now in the past, the governor has said more vaccine incentives could be in the works. The goal of Vaximillion was to put a jolt into Ohio's vaccination rate. At first, some say it worked. Yeah, but now that there won't be a million dollars on the line or that college scholarship each and every week, Tyler Paley explains why the experts are still holding out hope. Six weeks ago, Ohio's governor provided a bombshell. Let's do this, Ohio. Let's get it done. Let's get everyone, everyone vaccinated. His goal at the time was to inspire more people to get the shot. While correlation doesn't imply causation, the numbers don't lie. On May 12th, when Vaximillion was announced, 4.9 million Ohioans had begun their vaccinations. On Wednesday, that number sits at more than 5.5 million people, a jump of more than 565,000. It's a benchmark Governor Mike DeWine touted at a recent briefing and one health experts agree with. If you're asking, is it a success? Yes, we got additional people vaccinated most likely because of the Vaximillion. Uh, I don't know if it is the success I think everybody's hoping for. We didn't get to that 70%. Toledo Lucas County Health Commissioner Eric Skajinski says the state's recent trend lines up with the counties. More than 46% of Lucas County residents are vaccinated, but the numbers have been dropping lately. Everybody's triggered a little bit differently. Everybody is triggered some way to get vaccinated for COVID. The key, he says, is finding what will motivate people who remain on the fence. Variants are still emerging, and doctors say the benefits of getting vaccinated haven't changed. The less opportunity there is for the virus to replicate, the less likely that there's going to be new mutations. So the fewer Im non-immune hosts that exist, the less of this virus there's going to be in the community. As we go down the, the path over the next weeks to months, it's going to be an uphill battle to figure out who who's going to get vaccinated for what incentive. Several private businesses are still providing incentives of their own as the state looks to gain more ground and roll up more sleeves without a million bucks on the table. Reporting, Tyler Paley, WTOL 11. Tonight's Facts a Million winner was picked out of more than 3.4 million entrants. As we said, the scholarship winner was one of nearly 155,000 vaccinated students.